Hey everyone, it's Hotch Takagi here, and um, I'm just going to make a quick tutorial because I know uh, someone who probably would like to know how to do some things with uh, Twitch with uh, the notifications and everything. So I decided to just go ahead and make this quick tutorial so then it's all learned and simply done faster. Um, so basically, whenever you have OBS out, um, ignore that effect. Um, please, just ignore that echo, the little repetition and everything. So basically, you're gonna. I'm just gonna use my vlog setup right now, so I can just give a better explanation. So basically, let's say if I'm gonna play Trove, because this is for someone who's gonna be playing Trove. So you're gonna see this over here. Just ignore it. Um, so basically, you wanna go to go to game capture. Go ahead and get the capture. There you go. You got yourself Trove, right? Granted, it won't be like this. It would most of the time be like that, which should pop up like this. That's how it should be. That's how it would normally look if you have a 1080p monitor, but that's not the case with this situation. So, pretend that this is over there. Once again, sorry, because I know that it must be a little bit complicated with the way it looks with the OBS and the game and another game on top of the game. So, let's just make this more simplified. Ignore the camera. Ignore the game. So, basically, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to have... You're going to go to www.twitchalerts.com, this little thing right here. You want to click on launch. Um, shit, I'm going to have to, not my French, but I got to go connect with Twitch real quick. Um, it's been a while, so, <laughs> whoops. And, uh, all right, so now we're back on here. Um, we're going to go ahead and where is it? I know we gotta launch it. Where is it? It's been a while since I actually done this, but it's uh there you go. Alert box. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and launch this. So now you got yourself a green screen. Because you signed in onto twitchalerts.com and you went to the alert box and you launched it. So you got a green screen. It's like what the hell is a green screen doing in my you know what what's the point of that? So you're gonna see the this is my second monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the green screen to here, and I want to want I want you guys to watch my uh, OBS real quick. So you have the green screen, the game over here, and it's like how am I gonna do this? So this is what you're gonna do. You wanna go to Add Window Capture, hit OK, and then you're gonna see this little um, Use Color Key. You wanna click on the checkbox. Oh, sorry, it's not in all the way. That's very unprofessional me, but I, uh, I guess I moved something. So basically, you see it says use color key, and you check it, then you hit select. Then you want to go over here to the green box and click on that. It copies the color of what was there, and then you hit OK. So now I have the window capture. You want to go to properties. You want to go to alert wi box widget, and then you want to click here. Uh, you want to make sure you go back in properties and hit entire window. So then, or in fact, just hit inner winner window. And um, when you got this, you just want to hold on to alt and then you click on that so you can delete that specific portion. Now, look at this you got an invisible box that you know you're gonna have to work a little bit, you know, make it invisible like that. You know, you got an alt E around. Well, not alt, it's alt click. Sorry, I don't know why I said E. But there you go. Now you got yourself the notification box, right? So now you got your game. You got the game under it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the game on max. By the way, anything that is above that window is going to show up. So you want to make sure you hide everything. Make sure that none of your programs uh, pages are above it. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up the game capture correctly. It will look like something like this. Um, you're going to also disable the monitor captures. So now, let's just say, you know what, hey, I got, I got a follower. You know, I got someone that follows me, right? Let's test that. Oh, hey, someone's following me. Yeah. It's that simple. Um, it's all automatic. Um, as long as you have the green screen set it up correctly in the Windows area and the game is under the window capture, then it all would work. Now, take note that it won't be that kind of icon. Um, icon sorry. Just getting over from being sick. But if you go through the settings, you could tweak it out to your own way. Um, there is also sounds, but I have my sounds um, muted because I have other things running 
um, a Twitch stream, YouTube, and yada, yada, yada. So you won't be hearing any sounds, but trust me, there is sounds, and you could even add your own sounds if you know how to. But uh, this is just a basic introduction to how to do that, and uh, sorry for the parts where it seems a little bit confusing, but it's actually really, really simple if you do it yourself and just try to pay attention to what I stated. So I hope this helps, and I'm going to go ahead and post this video right away, then send a link to the one guy. And if you have any questions or comments about this, then go ahead and comment below. I'll try to answer it. However, I've been out of the loop with the Twitch alerts, so I don't know if it's something with a new update, which I will have to apologize on. But if I don't know, I don't know. If I do know, then I will try to help my best. So thank you guys for watching this. Please have a great morning, great afternoon, fantastic night. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.